<laughs> what do you do when you go to Vancouver with a, a fashion guru, shopper, store <laughs> owner? <laughs> like this cute girl? Hello! Down the east coast, and right now on the west coast, we're in LA and San Fran, and we're in Tacoma. And what is this sample? Quince Charming. That's a black tea with apple, sweet blackberry leaf, and quince. Yes, yeah, sweet blackberry leaves give you a natural sweetness, which is around 300 times the sugar. Wow. Yeah, so that's how we sweeten a lot of our tea, so it's a natural sweet black really instead. Oh. Mm. Okay. This store is heaven for tea lovers. If you guys can get to any of those cities, you gotta check out David's Tea. Right in. The more they hear about what cities need or want their tea, the better chance you have of finding a store popping up. So right in. It's really good. So the Gyokuri Yamashiro is shaded 18 to 24 wheat, so it's got the most nutrients in the tea. Best quality Japanese. Wow. Yeah. And you get how many steeps? I usually get four. My trick is I put the bag in and I slowly turn around and I take the bag out. Because it is so intense, it, it will get sharp really fast. Okay. But four steeps out of this guy can get four nice steeps. Wow, that's amazing. That's wonderful. And yeah. so my free tea is any of these teas. Anything on the wall, even our, our ceremonial matcha. Yay. 50 what? bucks, 100 grams. So that one's 25 bucks for free. So what is that case? <laughs> this is Ruby's vegan burger <laughs> for her lunch. I got Glenn some new stuff. I got me some new stuff. And um, yeah, it's fun. It's really fun going with somebody that's very styly and can give you a professional opinion. But um, we're having a blast. We're at this little park. Ruby's gonna go party. And then we're heading out for, I don't know about lunch. I'm, oh yeah. What do you think? We've been eating well. Yeah. Let's put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ruby, <laughs> you look amazing. <laughs> Why don't 
caramel, <laughs> yogurt, honey, frosting. Yeah. Ooh, look, lucky girl, uh, she loves it. Powder. We're walking back through Vancouver on a way um, to grab our car. This guy has the most amazing garden. This is a kiwi plant. It's like a kiwi tree. I've never seen. I've never seen a trunk like this. It's unbelievable. And for scale, I can't even get it all in the camera. It's it's massive. So there's his house, and here's his kiwi bush. It's just unbelievable. And look at all those fruits. I gotta plant a kiwi. That's crazy. Yeah, we'll be. Hey, Joey. Yeah, we'll be. Please, let me hold on. Today is our last morning in Gastown, Vancouver, and we're heading home today. And Casey owns a wonderful shop in Hood River, a women's clothing shop called Parts and Labor. I'll put the link underneath this video. Um, and she has a great Instagram page for those of you who are interested in fashion. And that cute little boxer that you saw pinning me down yesterday morning. I'm heading over to the truck to plug the meter while she packs up some of her stuff. So I wanted to give you guys an update because Casey owns a store and so she was doing a lot of kind of inspiration and buying and label searching while we were here. In the last two days we walked five miles which I haven't done that for years and I was a little apprehensive because I didn't know how much of the trip I'd be able to participate in and um, I brought my books and things to occupy me <laughs> just in case I couldn't walk but every block and every step I felt stronger I felt better I felt um, like I was I was like my muscle memory was returning and I'm I'm more than delighted about that so um, I know a lot of you have asked for an update video and I'll do that when I get home. But I just wanted to say, this was kind of a, a test for me and I just didn't know how far I'd be able to push it. I had moments of pain and times of just a little bit of soreness, but not that crippling, debilitating, um, like leg collapsing kind of pain. So, yay. When I landed in Vancouver, I, um, I looked at the a Yelp review and it was Medina Cafe and there was like 1,200 I think reviews which is huge for Yelp and I'm not sure how to use this meter. It's a pay by phone meter. I'm going to put in coins and see if they work, but they do. Okay. So I went to Medina Cafe and the bartender there, John, was lovely, a young man from Saskatchewan and a foodie and um, he gave me some fabulous fabulous restaurant recommendations and so we followed every one of his recommendations and we've eaten the most amazing food yesterday we went to this wonderful little noodle shop and that was me my my asiaphilia um, kicking in and they made everything from scratch. All of their noodles, all of their breads, all of their buns, um, their chili sauce, everything. So that was delightful and unexpected. 
But we're heading back to Medina Cafe this morning and we're going to have brunch there again because Casey has to experience it. This place has a waffle and I, I'm not even a waffle girl, I'm a pancake girl. But this has a waffle that the only way I can describe it is oh, blogger dies in Vancouver crossing the street and the only way I can describe it is it's like a brioche and for those of you unfamiliar with brioche it's a bread a white bread that's largely that's largely butter and egg so it's a really really rich dough for those of you familiar with challah it's like it's like challah meets a croissant and um, I'm going to try to recreate it if you guys are interested in that. Um, it would be fun to do a video series on my method of recipe creation because um, I have a very scientific approach when it comes to food and I, I can, I have the patience to make a recipe Noisy city. To make a recipe 10, 20 times, changing one variable each time until I nail down what I'm after. So I'm interested in doing that with this waffle. I'm interested in making a risen brioche dough and I'm putting on the waffle iron and seeing what happens because. When you start to cook and you learn that there are certain formulas that chefs use and certain formulas that they learn, um, cooking becomes less mysterious. So I'm pretty sure it's a brioche. So for those of you interested in the waffle process or the discovery of the perfect waffle recipe, leave a comment below. And um, I'll see if I can't put that together maybe this fall. That would be a really fun rainy day project. Thank you for being here and thank you for watching my vlog number three or four. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out in the edit, but for those of you that haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Ideally, I'd like to do five videos a week, but um, it gets a little bit challenging when you're a busy girl. So if you enjoyed the vlogs, let me know and um, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Thanks for being here. Thank you for watching. Thanks for coming along on my adventure. And next up, um, Mrs. W and I are driving down to Santa Rosa, California.